Welcome to HP Device Manager 5.0 Upgrading from Device Manager 4.7 Tutorial. As a disclaimer, this tutorial makes the following assumptions. That Windows Server is set up, configured, and introduced into your environment, and that HP Device Manager 4.7 is set up and configured. As part of this tutorial, we'll be downloading HP Device Manager 5.0 executable and executing it. We will then review the complete setup and our destination folder for the extracted software. We will be reviewing the pop-up dialog indicating uninstallation and backup of the 4.7 environment. Then we'll be removing HP Device Manager 4.7 and HTTPS via the control panel, re-executing HP Device Manager 5.0.exe, restoring that 4.7 backup, reviewing the complete setup and our destination folder once again for that extraction process, checking the preconditions and or mitigating where necessary, allowing all seven components to install and then reviewing the admin guide while it does so, launching HPDM console, and then of course confirming the restore. If Microsoft SQL is being used, reconfiguration of the login account and password is necessary. Let's begin. I have already installed Server 2016 standard, and I've already downloaded the HP Device Manager 5.0 executable. And as you notice, I already have uh, HP Device Manager 4.7 installed on the server as well. So we're going to go ahead and begin by double-clicking the 5.0 executable. We're going to go ahead and agree to this UAC by clicking Run. This is the opportunity where we're going to confirm the extracted file location. And if it is satisfactory, we're going to go ahead and click Next. Otherwise, we can click Change. We're going to go ahead and click Next. And then we're going to give it a moment to go ahead and extract the files. Once file extraction is complete, we're going to be greeted with the HP Device Manager 5.0 pop-up. It is going to inform us that the setup cannot continue because the following software installations were detected, and it's going to point to HP uh, DM or HP Device Manager 4.7, Service Pack 12, and HP Device Manager Embedded HTTPS Server, and then it's going to inform us that the software configuration and management database have been archived and will be safely restored during the installation of HP Device Manager 5.0 but it's gonna have us please uninstall the software components identified above from the system before continuing with installation. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And now we're gonna go ahead and enter our control panel. From the control panel, we're gonna go ahead and go to programs and then uninstall program. And we're gonna begin by uh, uninstalling HP Device Manager 4.7 Service Pack 12 by clicking the uninstall. And we're gonna get greeted with another pop-up that says, do you want to completely remove the selected application and all of its features? And we're gonna go ahead and click yes. And it will be taking some time to go ahead and remove all seven individual components. So we're gonna go ahead and be patient as this process completes. And you should be seeing a progress bar. You should also notice that the shortcut has now been removed from your desktop up here in the upper left. And now we're gonna get greeted with uh, the installation wizard. Once again, it's going to ask for you to restart your server. I would highly recommend going ahead and restarting your server to give it a fresh, clean start. Um, in this particular tutorial, we're going to go ahead and bypass that by selecting no, I, I will restart my computer later. So I'm going to go ahead and bubble that in and hit finish. And now what I'll go ahead and do is remove the HTTPS server as well. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then uninstall. And it looks like we're greeted with the please wait. So we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to try one more time with the uninstall. 
and we'll wait for that process to complete as well. Now you will get greeted with another pop-up that says the version you've installed is the same or higher than the version in this install package. You may, need, you may not need to update the HPDM embedded HTTPS server. Click yes to install or no to cancel. We're gonna go ahead and click next. And now that that uninstallation is complete, we're gonna go ahead and click finish at the wizard. And we'll give it just a few seconds for this component to be removed entirely. And there we are. And now we're gonna go ahead and double click on that 5.0 executable again. And then click run at the UAC. Reconfirm the save file destination folder and click next. Since we had already pre-extracted it before, we're gonna go ahead and click yes to all to go and replace those files. And now we're gonna get greeted with a brand new prompt. It will explain to us that the software configuration and management database of a previous installation has been detected. And it says click restore to safely restore the data during the installation of HP Device Manager 5.0 or click skip to perform the clean installation. Since we did perform that backup during the un uninstallation, we're gonna go ahead and click restore. And we're gonna get greeted with the HP Device Manager 5.0 uh, installation wizard. And it's going to say, welcome to the installation wizard for HP Device Manager 5.0. And we're gonna go ahead and click next. As step one indicates, we're gonna go ahead and review the license agreement from top to bottom. Once we've, re we've reviewed the license agreement, we're gonna go ahead and click the checkbox for I accept the terms of the license agreement and click next. For step two, we're gonna go ahead and bubble in the complete installation. Just to show you what's uh, included in that complete installation, I'm going to bubble in custom and then click next. This will outline all seven individual components that will be upgrading, upgraded during this installation, as well as the installation size and the package version. I'm gonna go ahead and click back and now bubble complete. If we needed to change the destination folder for the installation, we could go ahead and change that now by clicking browse. We're going to go ahead and click next. As part of step three, it's gonna check the preconditions necessary for HP Device Manager 5.0 to function. So we're gonna go ahead and click check. As you notice here in the left pane, it's gonna have all the individual ports necessary for HP uh, Device Manager and its seven components uh, listed to uh, run properly. And if everything is, is well, we're gonna see green check marks from top to bottom on all available ports. At the very bottom, you'll also notice that uh, there is a precondition for space for each of those seven components. So it's gonna verify that as well. Since there are green check marks from top to bottom, we're gonna go ahead and click install. And then as part of that final step, it's gonna go ahead and install all of the seven individual components. While it's installing all individual seven components, I'm going to bring the admin guide into view. And we're going to go ahead and review that. Once we're performing the upgrade installation, I'm going to point you to page 12. Beginning on page 12, it's going to describe each of the seven components uh, of HP Device Manager 5.0 in detail and also list all the individual requirements. So you'll want to review page 12 and beyond for each of those seven components to make sure that you meet the proper requirements and that you need to make any adjustments where necessary. Starting on page 14, it's gonna list out the product matrix and all of the individual thin clients uh, that, it's, that HP Device Manager 5.0 supports and that's gonna continue on to page 15 as well. Beginning on page 15, it's gonna list the individual ports necessary uh, in general for HP Device Manager to function. That is in the range of 40,000 to 40,009 and also 40,012. There are also additional ports that you need to take into consideration for your environment as well, which will be detailed further in this guide. Starting on page 16, it's going to list out the commands that are necessary uh, to perform uh, in command prompt in order to adjust your HP uh, server advanced firewall for those individual ports. 
Starting on page 17, it's going to outline uh, some steps for individual installations. In a prior video, we had completed the complete setup. Since we are doing the upgrade setup, that setup will actually begin on page 22. And as we scroll past page 22, it's going to outline the steps that we are covering in this tutorial today. I'm going to go ahead and scroll past that. Starting on page 29, it's going to outline uh, two topology scenarios. Up at the top is a basic topology with all components installed on one piece of hardware or one VM. At the bottom is another topology that's a little bit more advanced and it's going to have all of the seven components broken out individu individual pieces of hardware or VMs. Starting up at the top, you'll notice that the HPDM console or web consoles are here on the left. When an admin completes a deployment request, that request is then answered by the individual piece of hardware or VM that controls all seven components. Once that deployment is in order, it's going to go ahead and send that out via the HPDM gateway to the individual thin clients. Looking at the bottom more advanced topology, you're gonna to notice here on the left, the web browser console as well as the software console here as well. Just uh, in the same way as up above, you're going to notice that you can send out an admin request from the consoles. It will then be answered by the server, which will then consult the database. Once it is consulted the database, it will look towards the master and child repositories for its payload. It will then some, send that re deployment request out to the gateways, which will then send it out to the individual thin clients. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit the admin guide, and we're going to go ahead and check on our installation. When it's finished, you'll notice that there is a success screen that shows. If you would like to adjust your Microsoft SQL Server settings, you'll want to check mark in the Launch HPDM Configuration Center wizard and then continue there. Since we are using Postgres SQL for this demonstration, we're just going to go ahead and click Finish. Now that we are finished, we're going to give it a couple seconds to make sure that the installation is fully complete and we should see an icon on the desktop showing the HP Device Manager console. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that shortcut. At the login, I'm going to go ahead and enter my password that I had for my previous installation in 4.7. And now that HP Device Manager 5.0 is up, we're going to verify our settings and make sure that everything took effect. A good way to verify is to click on Manage Devices and note the new dropdown for the OSs. And as we click on each individual OS, what we should see is our individual thin clients. So starting with IoT, I'm going to go ahead and click on our gateway, and you'll notice my thin clients are present. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Thin Pro 7, and then on the gateway, notice my thin clients are present. If I would like to review other individual settings, I can click on the respective tabs. I can also click on my gateways and repositories to verify settings and adjust where necessary. And it is also a good idea to also click on your users and groups. As a summary, we demonstrated the following. We backed up HP Device Manager 4.7 and removed it. We also installed 5.0 in its place as part of the upgrade installation. I would like to invite you to join our webinars every Tuesday and Thursday at the following links. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you.